Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove and replace the cabinet on your Whirlpool or Kenmore washer. In order to do that, I need to remove the hot and cold hoses here. Before you disconnect your hoses from the washing machine, make sure you turn the hot and the cold valve off here or you're gonna make a huge mess with water spraying everywhere. And I need to unplug the washing machine from the wall. So I'm gonna get that done and get the washing machine outside so that you can see a little bit better. All these Kenmore, Whirlpool, and Ropers have slightly different configurations on the front. But on this particular Kenmore, there are parts that clip off from each side here. I already had them pop free so they were easy to remove. And then there's a screw on each side. Some of them don't have screws here and they have screws in the back instead. But you just have to figure out uh, what your particular model requires. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws. And once you get them loosened, you can grab firmly from the back and it should lift up. And this whole thing can rest right here on the back, just like this. The next step is to remove these clips. There's one on each side. I'm gonna use two hands for this because I'm gonna put my screwdriver down in here and lift forward while I'm lifting up on the hinge and it'll pop right out. Before I unclip the second side here, I'm going to unclip this connector. It should just lift up and pull off. That's the connector that goes to your lid switch. So this one is now free as well. It's okay if they come out, they just slide right back in. With both, both clips out, I can open the lid of the washing machine, stick my hands inside, and it simply lifts off. I'm gonna show you how to get the cabinet back on your washing machine. And there's a lip in the front and lips on the side here. The bottom of the cabinet goes under the front of this front lip, and then the sides sit on top of the side lips. There's also a pin in the front and the back on each side. And that's what keeps the sides of your washing machine from flopping out. So I'm gonna slide the front end under the front lip first, and then I'm gonna position the sides. So I came in with the front side low, and you can see that the lip of the cabinet is under the black bar of the frame. So it's gotta slide completely under it like that. Now I'm gonna hold my foot against the front so that it doesn't come loose while I guide the sides down on the clips on the bottom rail. I'm gonna push in and go down. And you can see I can tug on that and it won't come out anymore. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Making sure that the clip is engaged. And you can actually see if you look in on the other side, the clip is engaged there and here as well. So now everything should line up correctly when I pull this forward. So with that in place, I can pull everything back in here. This can rest on the back. Don't forget to plug your lid switch back in. These plastic pieces should go inside this side of the dryer on both sides. And they'll be held in tight once you get your lid clips on. With the plastic piece in place, line it up, slide your clip in, then press down to clip it into place. Do the same thing on the other side. Press the plastic backing in. Put the clip in. Make sure everything's lined up. And press it down. If you didn't already do so, again, make sure that you attach your lid switch here. Now this piece is ready to put back on. It just slides down with the back rim here over the back. There, on mine, there are clips on each side that are, have very obvious holes that they go in.
So the screws go back in the holes on the side to hold this cap on. Now your trim molding goes on. It just has clips that snap into place. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you need to repair any other internal components of your washing machine, click the video showing on the screen right now and it'll show you how to remove more of the parts. I hope you guys have a great day.